You already know when DJ Academics goes on stream. He's about to go the fuck off. He drops 50 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists every time he goes on Every time he goes on Twitch and starts drinking, that nigga be having a fucking Damian Lillard performance. But I guess he went off on Charlemagne. Let's hear what he had to say. Let's say this. If Joe calls me, yo, let me, let me be very honest with you. And by the way, yes, it's for anybody who's watching this later in the future or whenever. This is 7.36 a.m. on the East Coast. And yes, I am off that Migos. I finished that bottle. I got another one. I'm I might go get it. Damn, nigga, at 7.30, this nigga drink it? Yeah, he's Spanish. He got to be mixed. Is academics Dominican? He got to be mixed with Spanish. Nigga, I can't drink that early in the fucking morning. That's too fucking early. Casamigos at 7.30 in the morning? This nigga be drinking Casamigo like it's orange juice, like it's a cup of coffee. That nigga academics is a demon. I know he got an alcoholic gut. I'm very honest, but um, speak, nigga. This liquor gonna get me talking some shit I never talked. Oh shit. Oh, oh, and by the way, we could kill that Drake shit. I hit Drake. Remember I hit that nigga in April? Trying to see what, what's up with the tickets. Nigga never hit me back. Never seen that before. Me and him usually talk frequently. Bro, I just hit that nigga saying, bro, I don't know if like you thought I was begging you or some shit. I bought all my tickets. It's going to be me and 10 niggas in there. We got great tickets. I'm going to be at all your Barclays shows. All your Nigga, I spent 30000 I don't care. Damn, for some Drake tickets? Woo, that boy Academics got that bread. If a nigga ain't trying to give me free tickets or whatever, I'm good. I bought it. Don't care. I like you as a musician. Let's just keep it as that. Um, we don't gotta be talking about that shit. Um, what else? Oh Again. You know, some people ask why do I drink? I hate when this nigga do this shit, yo. I hate when this nigga do this shit, man. I hate when... Get to the fucking point. When 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 does he talk about Charlemagne, nigga? Because I'm not trying to hear him talk about random shit for 30 minutes. Nigga, get to the spicy shit. Yo, nah, act only entertaining when he drinks. No, act's entertaining when he's honest. So I, I'll, I'll also bring this in. Um, In reality, Joe hit me two days ago. I'm at the pet store getting some food for Pluto. Um, he's like, yo, Ak, what's up, man? He's like, I know you seen a lot of shit. Niggas kind of trying to deal with you a little type of way. You don't got nothing to say. Mm. So, uh, Joe, you know. Shout out to Joe Button. Joe Button. <laughs> he put the battery in that nigga academics back. <laughs> I love everybody. I respect everybody. We should chill. You know. No, I'm anyway. He said, yo, Ak, you know, I did your podcast. He's like, when are you going to come do mine? I said, anytime. And I want to just stay on that because. Again, call it what y'all want. Maybe I'm drunk. This nigga so drunk, he don't even know what the fuck he want to say. Wack 100. Connected me with Gillian Wallow. Okay. Hit me up. Yo, Ack. You want to do a podcast with you? Blah, blah, blah. Where you be at? I'm in North Jersey. I got my headquarters in Jersey City. I right, bet. Whatever, whatever. Can we use the space? Can we come? Yeah, of course. Two days of communication. Thanks to Wack. Me, Gillian Wallow did a podcast. I just keep it 100. 
It's been seven months. I've been trying to get them on my podcast. That's th- okay, I see where he's going. I'm not mad at it. I'm fair. I'm fair. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at that. I agree with academics. If I show up on your podcast and it do a lot of money and you gain a lot of things from it, now when I have my own little podcast that I'm trying to do and I try to get you to return the favor and join my podcast, and now all of a sudden you can't keep in communication with me? See, when you needed me on your platform, when you wanted me on your platform, I cleared my schedule for you. I made sure that I was available to join your platform. Now when I need you on my platform, you can't return the favor? Charlemagne. Back in the day, something going on with me and Joe. Yo, act, pop up. Nigga, I'm on a show with Joe. Let's do it. Bring it. I got to do it. I had a podcast now for two years. Yo, Charmin, when you free? What? <laughs> Keep it a beat with y'all niggas. Keep it in a, I respect that. I respect that. Whether you like academics or whether you don't like academics, I honestly respect that. And that's one of my biggest fucking pet peeves. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to ride with academics on this one. I hate when I help out somebody else. I always help, help, help somebody else. But the one time I ask you for help, and I rarely do it. The one time I ask you for help. Cricket. But like Drake said, it ain't no friends in this industry. I don't care. So that's why when Joe invites me, I always go. Because when I invite Joe, he always comes. That's a real nigga. That's a real nigga. When Vlad invites me, I go. You know why? It's loyalty. When Vlad invites, when I invite Vlad, he comes. So it, 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 somebody say, I care. Of course I care. Because I look at all these niggas. Yeah, but you had to stay now to where you, 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 on the outside looking in, you used to, I don't want to say look up to these niggas, but you look to these niggas. But now that you in a space that you are, it's competition. So you got to compete with these niggas. And some of these niggas, they want you to help them out with their platform, but they're not going to help you out with your platform because they don't want to see you succeed. Or they want to see you succeed, but they don't want to see you, they don't want you to outbeat them. They don't want you to be bigger than them. It's a cold game. It's a cold game. It's a cold game. Of course I care. Don't take nothing I'm saying that I don't care. I'm telling y'all the truth. I see Charlemagne with the hater that he signed, but I can't get him on my podcast. I've been begging him for like a year. Whenever you free, bro. Whenever. I've been on Andrew's shows twice. Mm-hmm. Now I feel a way. Facts. Nigga, Joe came did my pot. I think, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can let me know. I don't feel like looking at it right now. But I think even Andrew Schultz was on off the record, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think Andrew Schultz, did, let me, let me, I don't like to just say shit out my ass. AJ Academics, Andrew Schultz. Did Andrew Schultz come on his podcast? No, nah, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. I thought he did. I thought Andrew Schultz came on his podcast. No, nah, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Let's say this. He didn't. If right. jo- because. Let me let me fast forward where I was at. Back in the day, something going on with me and Joe. Yo, act. Pop up. Of course I care. Don't take nothing I'm saying that I don't care. Fast forward. It's twice. All right, here we go. Now I feel away. Facts. Nigga, Joe came, did my podcast. He said, yo, hey, take out that 10 minutes because he had said some shit. But, like, he ain't really, like, y'all was going to tweak out. He said, I just take that out. I'm a, I got to go do my AM show. I'm going to come back again and do your podcast again. Real nigga shit. Sound like Joe Joe Button, a real nigga to me. I'm by loyalty. Act don't need none of y'all niggas. I'm by loyalty. Whoever's loyal to me, I'm loyal to y'all. Bet. 
Joe, Joe asked me to come through today. Nigga, of course I'm there. Nigga, I say, yo, I told him. So that's why I'm apologizing for the stream. Nigga, I'm cutting the shit off at a certain time. I told Joe I'm going to be available for you all day. You know why? And when a nigga popped up on me, he was available all day. We always been available with each other all day. Bruh, some of these niggas, I can't even, I'm like, all right, bro. You can't even get a text back from half of these niggas. But as soon as they got a platform or as soon as they got something going, they want you to join they shit. But when it's time for you to when it's time for you to do the favor, crickets. I hate niggas like that. I hate niggas like that. I, I sense that before I wasn't being. I used to show love to everybody because I used to try to make. And it's not about me, obviously, but I'm just giving an example. I used to hold everybody down like, yo, if you need anything, I'm gonna pop up. I'm gonna do this. Da -da -da -da. Let me pull up. Da -da -da. They be like, thank you. I appreciate you. Adi 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 ya. As soon as you ask for something. It could be the smallest thing in the world. As soon as you ask for a favor, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, da -da -da. oh, da -da. all right, nigga. You know what? You got it. Block. Loyalty works both ways. If you have given your 100% to somebody and they not giving it back to you, block they ass. They don't fuck with you like that. Y'all got it, man. Y'all Hollywood, Hollywood. Y'all got it. We gonna keep a bean a bean. I post every podcast clip. Yo, can I get you on my podcast? Uh, we talk about it. My bad. But I don't be beasting on off the record in reality. Y'all know this. Like, with all due respect, and like, I don't care if Spotify see this. My nigga, I'm academics at the end of the day, my nigga. Like, y'all gave me a hefty contract. But I'm getting that money elsewhere too. Bro, I'm moving around. Nigga, I just signed a big ass stream. Nigga, I'm moving around as a brand of academics. Respect. I'm not going to deliver y'all bullshit. We could extend the contract. We could do whatever with it. But y'all not going to put me on some rat on a wheel shit. Nigga, I'm going to move how I want to move. Facts. And if you like academics or don't, if you don't like academics or if you like academics, you got to respect that about them. The nigga created her own platform for himself, and he's the boss of his own shit. Nobody is telling academics how to run his shit. Academics tells him. Academics controls him. He, he, he owns his own shit. He owns his own shit. You got to respect that. Whether if you like the platform or don't like the platform, he owns his own shit. So... I know sometimes, because I, I hear people like, yo, act, you neglect your podcast. Man, I ain't like, nigga, I've been making millions off media before podcast. I love podcasting, but I'm not going to put out bullshit just to say I did it. I'd rather go a week or two without an episode. I'm good. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. Spotify probably don't want to hear that, but it is what it is, my nigga. Like, nigga, you signed academics. I'm sorry to say it. You didn't sign the podcast of academics. You signed academics. And academics is whoever and whatever in the space. And it ain't like he bullshitting. He trying to get guests, but this industry is fucking fake. Academics knows that, though. It, it, to be honest, instead of just trying to get guests, the, the the people that I guess he he, he has a chat nigga, the, the, the chat niggas, I'd rather you invite them on your podcast. I'd rather you invite the streamers on your podcast because at least they'll show up for you and they don't play those fake industry games. These industry niggas that you're dealing with, you help them out a million times. As soon as you want help back, it's only a rare few select the niggas that's solid in this industry. But half, 99, I'm willing to put my soul on it. 99.9% .9 of these industry niggas is fake as fuck. So, you know, it is what it is. I dropped off that Dirk episode. I gave him my Annalie Chopper. Took a week off. Nigga, I'll be good. And that's for anybody who do, do business with me. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even trying to put their business out there. This is before we got, shit got left with us. Shout out to, shout out to Alex, Young Boys Manager. That's how they do business too. My nigga like, you gonna have to work with the creative's schedule his mindset, his vision, his curation. If you think you're going to have a nigga on some wild schedule where he just have to pump out content like a slave, 
Yeah, the contract says certain shit got to come out. It will come out. Mm -hmm. But the time on when you wanted to come out, especially if if they can't produce quality up to that that um um that level, is going to be a little bit skewed. So. You know, um, and by the way, that was an indictment on Spotify. They've been very cool with it. They they know what it is. You're dealing with act. It is what it is. I don't think they really care that much. He just dropped it. That Dirk interview probably had a million views. I don't think they're really stressing about that shit. But I see what he's saying, though. You feel me? <laughs> You're dealing with act. It is what it is. Um, so, I send love to my Spotify people, and they've been amazing. But, um, as I said, I'm, later today, I'm, I'm about to do... um. If you just join on like YouTube or whatever, like I'm, I'm about to do Joe's podcast. So like we're going to be a little bit early on everything. Um, just keeping the bean with y'all. Man, Joe, the only nigga in the podcast space. L listen, I always told you niggas don't really invite me to shit. But if a nigga invite me to some shit, I show up tomorrow. When I invite niggas to shit, they give me the run around. Yo, holla at me after this date. I'm like, all right, y'all got it. <laughs> y'all got it. But you know how you can get your lick back? You know how you can get your lick back, academics? And he knows this. And this is what happens when you own your own shit. When you're the boss of your own shit. When you control your own shit. See, if academics worked at the Breakfast Club, any of these rappers that be on that fake shit, you still got to play their music. You still got to play their music. You still got to play their music. Because it's the breakfast club. It's not about you. It's what the audience wants to hear. But when you have your own platform, when you create your own sauce, when you create your own flavor, when you create your own recipe, you control everything that comes in the kitchen. So all these rappers that be acting fake towards academics, keep that same energy when you have an album rollout. Keep that same energy when you got another artist that you want to promote. Keep that same energy when you about to drop a song on Friday and you need me to post it on my page. Oh, oh, you you, you was giving me the bullshit? You was giving me the run around? You, you was giving me that fake? Nah, I ain't posting you, nigga. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, your music video dropped? Nah, I ain't posting it, nigga. Fuck that. Bye. Keep it moving. That's how you treated me. So academics should do the same thing to these niggas. Just keep that same energy when you got an album to promote. I don't like, and and I, I, I'll go into the future with this. If you, let's not communicate personally if we not on the same type of respect. If you ask me to come somewhere, do something, do your event, do your show. If you're not finna do my shit, please don't even talk about it. Real talk, mm, mm, mm. and I'm a, I'm gonna be I'm gonna even be honest. Some nigga, some producer reached out to me. Nigga, everybody know I look up to Charlamagne. Nigga, some nigga reached out. Nigga, I did brilliant idiots. I'm old. Nigga, I did Breakfast Club. Some nigga reached out to me for hell of a week. Nigga, I can't even get Charlamagne on my podcast. Nigga, fuck that. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not about to do no hell of a week or something. I respect it. That's how you stand on principle. I respect it. I respect it. You got to respect it. You got to respect it. Whether you like ac academics or not, you got to respect that. Dumb shit like you. Come on, bro. We going to have mutual respect for each other. Ain't no nigga little, little nigga me in this bitch. Period. Somebody tell me my feelings today? Nigga, you can say whatever you want, nigga. I'm going to tell the truth. I ain't mad at it. If I do 10 things you ask and I ask you for one, you can't do it. Nigga, we ain't fucking with each other. Fuck that. Or it might not even be that, but you can't ask me for shit no more. And that nigga Charlemagne, he do the Breakfast Club every day. That's in New York. Academics podcast is in what? North New Jersey? New York and New Jersey. They ain't far from each other, my nigga. So he could take the time out of his day to help to help academics with his platform, considering that he helped you out with your platform. I'm just New York and New Jersey ain't far from each other, my nigga. It's a train ride away. I mean, just, don't kill the messenger. If I ask you for 10 things, and I ask you, you ask me for 10 things, I'll oblige. I ask you for one, I can't get it. All right, we good, nigga. Straight up. If loyalty don't work two ways, and then, by the way, I don't know who be having beef with who. That ain't none of my issues, because I don't be beefing with at least those type of niggas. I don't be beefing with them. 
I'm just telling y'all in a sense of, I ain't gonna lie, I do feel a way. I feel a way. As you should. You should. I ain't mad at it. Say that the only nigga in the media that I could ask to come on my podcast and he'll do it. We ain't gonna count Adam. Adam cool. But like Adam was on West Coast. Me and Vlad swap. Me and um Joe swap. All these other niggas, they be just like, yo, you come do our shit. We'll holla at you. Yeah, we'll holla at you whenever. Or, and, all right, I, I'll let you know when. Da, 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 da. But see, when you needed me on your platform, you kept, yo, act, yo, yo. Da, 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 da. Mm, all right. Y'all ain't about a little nigga me no more. So I like talking in the public. We all can talk in the public. So it is what it is. And I, and everybody know, act don't take nothing back. Act, act. Act amplify. He never de-escalate. So, y'all go ask these other niggas. Why act? Why act did your podcast? Why you never did his? Mm. Ask every nigga that. Why act did your shit? You never did his shit. Ever? Did he ask? Oh, he's just not pressing it. But he looking at you weird because he like, damn. I thought you respected me just like I respected you when I jumped. I probably cancel shit. I probably move shit around and do your shit. Why are you not fucking with me like that? I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. I ain't bet. Let it be. That's a pot set, right? Y'all got a love for us? Let, let it be, nigga. I bet. My bad. Um, yo, we're probably gonna hop into some um hip hop shit. And for all you niggas that be saying, oh, well, academics, he be in drama. He be in this. He beef with this rapper. He say this. Well, if you they know that about academics already, but you still wanted him on your podcast. You still wanted him on your podcast. You know the type of person that academics is. Academics ain't going to water it down for you. Academics ain't going to sugarcoat it for nobody. That's why I respect. That's why I fuck with him. I fuck with him. Some things he do, I be like, uh, all right, academics, you wildin'. But in moments like this, I got his back 100% because I know what it feel like to help somebody out and a nigga don't help you back out in return. And you knew what you was getting from academics, but you wanted him to join your podcast, but you can't do the same thing in return. Nah, yeah, niggas is fake. Like Drake said, nigga, ain't no friends in it. I don't know why he thought it was friends in this industry. This industry is cutthroat. I got I to gotta do a timeline on what we're going to do today. <laughs> By the way, this is 7 a.m. drinking. I don't give a fuck. And nah, yeah, 7 a.m. drinking is wild. And by the way, we're not taking on the back. Um, We're going to get to some YNW Melly. We got to get to some JT and Uzi shit. We got to get to some Offset and Cardi right, B is shit. Is he done? Is he done talking about Charlamagne? We, 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 we got to get to... Uh, what else am I missing? Bruh. I ain't never said fuck Charlemagne. That's my. That's a guy who I look up to. I'm just telling y'all. No, nah, the, the respect got to be there. I helped you out. Damn, nigga, you can't help me out now one time. It's a respect thing. If if we all gonna keep it a hundred, because I like keeping it a hundred, and when you asking me when why I, I look at shit weird, yeah, you you just brought an old hate on your podcast. And you did his podcast. I get you signed him. But a nigga who been. I was talking to Joe. Like even on the phone. I said Joe. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, I said I don't even know if niggas care about that list that came out. But like. Nigga the way I was talking about the list. Nigga I basically had Charlamagne in one. I put him number one. Nigga I'm trying to put myself down. And make these niggas feel good. Because in reality I got so much respect for them. Nah fuck that. Your idols become your rivals nigga. Fuck that. It's business at the end of the day. Fucking gladiator, nigga. War of the Lions, nigga. Only one nigga could survive. Gla gladiator type shit. You can't be big enough, these niggas, no more, nigga. These niggas is trying to take you out the paint. Fuck these niggas. It's, it's respect there. Don't get it wrong. It's respect there. But, nigga, I... Fuck that. We competing right now. I don't want to join you. I don't want to be friends. You got to have that Michael Jordan mentality. You got to have that Kobe mentality, nigga. Yeah, we cool. Yeah, we we all that cute shit. Yeah, cool. yeah. All right, we we do that in the uh, off season, nigga. Nigga, the season's starting right now, nigga. Tip off, nigga. I'm trying to fucking, I'm trying to one up you, nigga. What up? You can't you can't take the humble approach with these niggas because they don't take it with you. 
You can't try to step to the side and help other people out because when you need help, they're going to leave you on the back burner. Nah, fuck that. Like, nah, nah. They put me number two, nigga. Nigga, I was just happy to be on the list. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. You, put, you should put this guy over here. Man, all along, I, it's like I'm like delusional. I'm like, man, these niggas ain't looking at you like how you looking at them. That's the facts. Facts. And I, and 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 this is not a Charlemagne thing. I'm, I'm I'm saying this for everybody. I don't want none of y'all podcast media niggas. Do not reach out. Yo, we doing favor for favor. Facts. I don't fuck with you. I done made twenty plus million by myself. I do not care about y'all. If you ask me for something, tell me what you bring in advance. I don't give a fuck. All this looking up to shit. God. Fuck that. <laughs> It's mad niggas that look up to LeBron. But when we on that court, nigga, I'm trying to give you 30. Fuck all that. I look up to you. You my idol. I used to have your poster on the wall. Nigga, fuck that. I worked my ass to get here. And now I'm here now. It's either I'm going to be out the paint or you going to be out the paint, nigga. Fuck that. Fuck all that admiration. Ah, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Because like he said, how you look at niggas, them niggas don't look at you like that. They look at you as some Gary Coleman Small nigga in the paint. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck out of here. I nigga feeling like, oh, okay, you paint homage, but that nigga shit no. Nah, fuck that. Real rap. Fuck that. I respect it. Oh, we got to talk about Boosie at the, the BT Awards. Boosie wasn't even wildin' though. Look at y'all, y'all talking about crash out. Nah, nigga, I just had to get on my chest. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't crashing out. That's that's a that ain't crashing out. It's, it is what it is, nigga. There's no friends in the industry. Fuck it. It ain't sit right with me. It ain't sit right that I've been scheduling with some people for a year. Then I've been asking another nigga for like mad long, but he got a hater on his shit. I I'm looking like, oh, we not showing love. It's not mutual over here. If it's not mutual, just say this shit, but don't. We not finna do the not mutual shit in private because I was a nigga who was a fan of everybody, including Joe. I was a nigga who was a fan of y'all. I'm glad at least Joe, I was about to say Joe Rogan. I'm glad Joe Budden kept his word with academics at least. Oh, before I got in this. At this point, I'm looking like, man, if niggas don't respect what I got going on, man, fuck what y'all got going on too. We could, I ain't, it really ain't like that, but I ain't ducking no smoke from nobody. We could all get into it. Yo, you, yo, WAP twenty three twenty four. Fuck you, nigga. He say, yo, act. Yeah, you ain't sitting right with me neither. Nah, nigga. I, I ain't gonna lie. We got a blip. This was sponsored by the Casamigos this morning at eight a.m. Yeah, I just want to know. Yeah, don't be giving out no sponsors, nigga. Casamigos ain't throwing no bag. Don't shout them niggas out. I don't even want Charlemagne to even have no conversation with no more haters about me without him addressing why he ain't been on my podcast. When I did Brilliant Idiots, like years ago, when I did Breakfast Club months ago, by the way, over a million views, both of them. Mm. You see, the difference with like shows, that's why I knew this shit was going to happen. Nigga, I did show shit, show say, yo, let me know. Nigga, I'm going to do your shit. Like he been done it. I think he did like once or twice. I don't know whatever, whatever it is, but at least reciprocity. You feel me? Probably fucked up that word. <laughs> Alcohol is a hell of a drug. Now we don't fuck about nothing. Y'all niggas can take it however you want. And also, I feel y'all could put it, print it, do anything with it. Nigga. I feel a way that Gillian Wild ain't been on my shit either. The fuck, nigga? Y'all use my studio. It wasn't that hard once Wack connected the numbers. I said, yo, come here, do this. Y'all can shoot my shit. I will, we could record if he, whatever. And Willie and, and, and Willie and, Willie and uh, Wallow, them niggas be flying everywhere. Everywhere. Nigga, if there's a rapper that's in Alaska that's blowing up, them niggas will go all the way to Alaska to interview that artist. You mean to tell me from Philly all the way to New Jersey, which is not a far commute, you can't go help academics out? These niggas be flying here. These niggas be flying here. The niggas is all over the fucking world. Respect to those guys. Respect to uh, Willie and Wallow. 
but damn, my nigga, you can't help the brother. The, 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 he like, yo, I let you use my studio. I let you. I'll be a good. Yo, you can use my studio. Do whatever you need to do to make y'all feel comfortable. Bet I got y'all. But when he need help, crickets. Nobody don't answer the phone. It's always an excuse. Yo, act, yo, I got three interviews today. I can't do it today, but I'm going to try to squeeze you in next week. Man, nobody want to hear that bullshit because when you needed my help, I was there right then and there, even if I had to clear my schedule. So, yeah, like academic said, fuck, fuck these niggas. What the fuck? All right, nigga, I don't care how big y'all think y'all are now, nigga. It's, my t it's a swap. Like, what's up? Okay, I'm going to wait till All-Star game. Okay, I'm going to wait till this. Okay, I'm going to... Y'all free... Okay. Are y'all ever gonna be? It? Nah, don't even wait, nigga. Listen, I got a, I got a pot, I got an open slot this day. Can you, can you come on my podcast? If you say ah, oh, block, nigga, block, nigga, because when you needed me, I stopped everything that I was doing to come help you out. You can't do the same thing for me just for one time. As soon as he even, if the nigga, if, if the nigga even reads your message and it sound like it's an excuse, nigga, you're getting blocked. B-L-O-C-K. And this doesn't even have to go for academics. This goes for anybody in life in general. If you're, it, whether it's a relationship, friendship, no matter what, family, friends, I don't give a fuck what it is. If you're giving 100% to somebody and they can't even give you 15% back, block they ass. Fuck them. Because how you see them is not the same on how they see you. Man, I see them interviewing bum ass things. I'm like, man, this is crazy. <laughs> so to keep it real, man, I don't give a fuck what niggas say. I'm always get what I yo. I done made my millions off of this shit already. I use this platform to get shit off my chest. And if I said it, nigga, it was on my chest. It was on my heart. It was on my mind. I ain't never lie. And niggas ain't got nothing to say to that. And if they don't got nothing to say to it. We're going to just keep those relationships like that because I ain't never need nobody. All right? Let's keep it moving. Hey, I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. What y'all think, though? Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.